Hey guys, Mikey Swartz here on the Whipash channel. I don't usually do unboxings or reviews, but I am going to take the time today to do one on this. I just bought a magnetic drill, and this is a... Kaken. It is a Kaken SCY42HD. I've used a magnetic drill before, but I've never seen this particular brand or used it, so we're going to open up the box, see what all it comes with. I was looking for other videos like this. I couldn't find any, so I figured I'd be the one to throw one up. First off, I did buy this from eBay. Uh, I'm sure you can get them other places, but on eBay, I had the option to get the tooling kit with it. And so I splurged a little extra. I think I paid $6.70 for all this stuff. And the tooling kit looks like this. These are the two inch long bits, I guess you'd call them. This is the two inch long kit. They do sell these that are only one inch long, so you can't go as deep. But I chose to get the two inch ones. They were a little more money, but I figured it was worth it. I think this added maybe 200 bucks to the price, something like that. Steel Dragons makes this, or they sell it anyway. There's the part number if you're interested in the tooling kit. By the way, no affiliation to me, any of this stuff. I don't know anything about it. I paid top dollar for all this stuff, just like you're gonna have to. You even got one wrapped this way. Okay, I chose this model because it actually looked a little more like it actually has a name brand on it, as opposed to like the yellow ones that are real cheap that don't really have a brand on them. I think Steel Dragons is one of the companies that sells them, but they don't really have a name brand on them. There's a few different names that they sell them under, but uh, this one looked to me more like name brand, and I saw that you could get parts for them too. I couldn't find any reviews on it though. That's why we're gonna do one right now. Oh, it comes in a case. Look at that. All right, that's nice. Let's zoom in on that. Uh, ooh. It's a drilling machine. Now we got to turn it this way for the people. By the way, this is my assistant bear. He'll be assisting me today. If he can figure out how to do this. Obviously not. <laughs> there there you go. Okay, so ooh, here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh -huh. oh, look at this. Now, ooh, it does, it's nice. Orange, it's my favorite color. Let's get her out of here. Slide that over. Okay. First off, let's see what all this comes with. Some of these do come with an attachment, so you put regular drill bits in them too. I wasn't sure if this was going to be one of them. I don't see it in here. Do you see it? I don't see it. No, I don't see one. You can always buy that and add to it, maybe 30 or 40 bucks. This does have a reservoir for cutting fluid though. Some of these don't come with them. You got to like manually spray it. Oh, China directions. Well, it is made in China, but that's all right. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the product. Okay, first off, we get some Allen wrenches with it, and here's the handles. I guess it probably doesn't fit in the case with these on. So let's put these on, and then we'll take a look around this thing. And then we're going to test it, too. We're going to test it as well. Test these. This is 110 volts. Cord's kind of thin, flimsy looking, but that's all right. Oh, another reason why I chose this particular machine is because it does have infinite control for speed. And a lot of these didn't have any kind of speed control, or if they did, it was just a switch like high and low. This one has the infinite control, so you can fine tune it. Motor on and off switch here. And let's see what the back side of this looks like. Not a lot going on back here. I don't know what these knobs do. Oh, that's just to hang it? That's all the higher it goes? Okay, you're right. Where's the directions? Did you get some directions? There is... Let's have a look at the directions. So Are they all really in China? That's all the Chinese directions. Hmm. And that's all the English directions. Well, that's because the English, we, we understand directions real good. <laughs> we do understand directions real good. Well, that's because we don't really read them usually, so they probably just didn't bother. Plug the power, plug the drill bit, aim, and processing position. What the fuck? All right, let's just assemble it without the directions. Here we go. You know, we didn't get any cutting fluid. I guess I'll just throw some oil in it or something. Or is that, should that be like a water-based? I feel like it should be water-based. Maybe it'll toss in the directions. Oh, a barrel, reiki, reiki. Like yeah. this, okay. All right, quickerless. I always like quickerless parts. That way they come apart quickly. So uh, what are we gonna use for cutting fluid? We need cutting fluid. Uh, put some oil in there. You got a bottle of motor oil here? Let me look this up. All right, uh, what are we gonna use for cutting fluid? Let's see. What should I use for cutting fluid for my magnetic drill? Hugen offers a number of different kinds of lubricant depending on the application. Rotor Magic Concentrated Cutting Fluid is a biodegradable coolant that is mixed with water and used with a mag drills coolant system. Water. 
Slick Water stick base. is a waxy lubricant. Ooh, slick stick sounds good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I use oil for a magnetic drill lubricant? According to Hoogan, rotor foam is a foamy spray lubricant that is sprayed onto the cutter before each hole. Rotor gel is blue gel that melts and works well in all That's applications. What we want the blue gel. For best results, use the Mag Drills coolant system. Oh no shit. So I think you're supposed to use a water base. It's a water base. Water so down coolant, away. pretty much. Fuck. I wonder if we just make soap. No, that might ruin some stuff on the inside. Soap poisoning. <laughs> All right, pause it. What we got here, Mike? I went in the house and mixed up some Dawn dish soap. I no affiliation. Some, <laughs> I mixed up some dish soap in this here Gatorade bottle. And look, it looks legit, too. That could be legit cutting fluid. No one would know the difference. We have a little valve on the Wait. bottom here to turn it oh, on we'll and off. Oh, turn it off. To test this thing out, I got a brand new workbench that we just made. Well, it's not brand new, it's repurposed. But I do have a brand new vise, and we're gonna drill some holes in this workbench to bolt this down. This is quarter inch plate, by the way. It's actually quarter inch plate and there's an I-beam underneath here. So we're gonna go through both of those. And this is just quarter inch plate back here. Let's take the base off of this. I just set it there and we'll drill straight through, down through the table. What do you think, Bear? About to drill some holes, bro. Here we are. Okay, just slide that out of the way. So what we wanna do is run this down, get this in the appropriate spot. Turned off, of course we can slide this thing around pretty easy. Turn the magnet on. Really, we could move this thing now. The drill's gonna stay put, so we could move this out of the way. Put your safety glasses on at this point. Okay, yeah, let's uh, pass the speed. Well, That's all the way to zero. Oh, wow, seems, seems fast. All right, I'm gonna turn it all the way down. Get some pull-up flow. So much better than using a drill bit. Drilled really nice. Oh, it's a tight fit. That's what we like. We might have to come up through on this one. I'm not sure though. Stay over there for me so you don't get in the way of the camera. Don't want me fat. No. We're gonna drop a bolt down in this hole so this thing can't go anywhere. Line this sucker up. Go ahead and lock her down, Bear. Now we can move this out of the way to drill. All right, switch pulling on. Thank you, Bear. All right, look at that. That is nice. Yeah, we should have did this one first. I didn't get a <laughs> oh, well. Get another shot here, so. All right, magnets on. Magnets on. Drills on. Go it. There it goes. Don't force it, let the bit do the cutting. Cut. Yeah, it wasn't too close. Oh yeah, that's about right. Is it warm? Hot? No. Cold? Feels yeah. body temperature warm. You got it home if you're gonna do this. Start with this hole, cause that's gonna be the hardest one to get your drill to. I think we're just gonna have to mark this one and go for it. Pop that plug out. Oh, it didn't pop. The slug didn't pop out right here. There it goes. Get these off of there. There it goes.
coolants off. Yep. All right, wipe the old table down. My only beef so far is that we're gonna have to tear it back apart to put it back in its case. That kind of sucks. Like we're gonna have to take these handles off and take this off. I'm not too thrilled about that. And like I said, I didn't see any other reviews on this, but uh, they do have lots of products. I checked out their website and you could do that too. All right, guys, I think that's it. Uh, if you got any questions, just comment them below and I'll let you know how this thing's going over the next couple of years. I'm going to put this thing to use on my Tecundra project. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Toyota truck fans. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, Bear. See you guys. Hi. How's it going? We're assembling the vice. One more to do, and as soon as Mike gets back from trimming the washer, we'll be ready. Pull that off right there. Yeah, it's all that abuse you put shit through. Yeah, that's right. He's the queen of beating shit up. You heard me. This is why we can't have anything nice. This was not me. All right, you can stop filming now.